Hello, good good evening, everyone, and uh, welcoming each of you uh, to the book release event of uh, the first cohort of fellows um, of the book uh, that has documented the stories of uh, Parindes of the first cohort of 52 Parinde Fellowship co-created by our fellows. Uh, my name is Ashik Krishnan, and I'm one of the co-creators of Travelers University. Uh, so at Travelers University, we offer uh, travel-based experiential learning programs. Uh, we offer both like short-term and long-term programs where uh, our learners uh, get to explore uh, the different interconnections between uh, the everyday systems that we are part of or connected to, such as uh, education, ecology, social justice, uh, politics, economics, and so on. And uh, the 52 Parinde Fellowship Program is a six month long program where uh, each fellows explores different livelihood areas of their own interests. Uh, so when we say livelihoods, these are the kind of livelihoods that are oriented towards social, ecological, and personal well-being, the kind of livelihoods that make one feel alive from within as we are involved in such a pursuit. So it is in fact the question of like how alive do we feel in our current pursuits of livelihoods and life uh, and life that led us to design the 52 Parande Fellowship Program. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a program primarily for youth who are in the pursuit of livelihoods. And part of the program, we had seven of our fellows exploring, pursuing different livelihood areas that they wish to engage in the long term. And each of them met with Parindes or livelihood practitioners uh, in, in their own chosen uh, areas of interest. Uh, they each, each fellow met with around seven to eight Parindes or livelihood practitioners, spent about two weeks with each of them, observing their work, involving in their work, engaging in their work, thus having a direct learning experience for themselves. And uh, during this period, the fellows, they also documented uh, the stories uh, of the Parindes or the Alibrid practitioners. Uh, and uh, some of you might have already read those stories from the website of Travelers University, which were published earlier. Uh, but beyond that, uh, we have also put them together as a book. Uh, and, and this book includes not just uh, the stories that are uh, of, of the stories of the library like, practitioners that have been documented by the fellows, but it also includes uh, the fellows, their own personal reflections, learnings, and insights. It includes a section on uh, livelihoods, like which offers structured information uh, on some of the livelihoods that the fellows uh, pursued or explored. Uh, to set to, and to set the context. Uh, to the fellowship once again. Um, so when we look at it, like why most young people in India still today go for the same uh, mainstream jobs or careers, it is also because they are very relatable, whether it be like IT, law, engineering, CA. And, and these are like formidable pursuits. These are important pursuits. Uh, but like there are many other pursuits also that, that are available to us and that help us or uh, that can uh, that take us to a more um, that take us more closer towards a more uh, inclusive just and sustainable world uh, so when we look at why, why most young people still go for the same mainstream jobs or careers one of the reasons that uh, came to us it's also because they are very relatable uh, one would know uh, what kind of a life or livelihood would such a job or career entails and, and uh, there are, there's also clear understanding as to what are the different opportunities or possibilities that uh, one has uh, as they are involved in, in such pursuits. Uh, but when it comes to these kind of livelihoods, livelihoods oriented towards social, ecological, personal well-being, that could be in the domain of food systems, that could be in the domain of uh, place-based learning systems, that could be in the domain of conservation, in the domain of community work, and so on. 
uh, what we see is that uh, these conversations are not part of our like everyday discourse. And uh, even though, uh, say for example, farming is the sector, the agriculture sector is where a uh, majority of uh, the Indian population is in, um, it, is, it is not part of the, the, the mainstream discourse, uh, the conversations around these. And we, 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 and many of us wouldn't know people who are directly involved in such pursuits. Uh, so, which, which makes uh, like the, the need for a fellowship program, like uh, or a learning program, like free to per in the fellowship, more uh, uh, stronger. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, th which is why we uh, we also focus on uh, like along with the learning that the fellows would have the, that the fellows undertake. Uh, we also focused on the documentation aspect of uh, the fellowship, mm -hmm. where. Uh, so documentation, how we see it, it one on one hand, it helps the fellows strengthen uh, their own learnings, their own understanding uh, that they had in a place as they document uh, their journey. But at the same time, as we uh, put out this information in the public domain, as we create opportunities for more people to get access to this content, get uh, to get engaged with the content, um, so through that, like we uh, on, on one side, like it, it creates more visibility for this kind of work that is happening. It creates visibility for the uh, Parindes or their library practitioners work that they are into. And at the same time, through this uh, information, the structured information that we are documented on the livelihoods, um, it, it, it helps us give a glimpse of what, what such a life would entail. Or if someone is interested in uh, such a pursuit, if someone is interested in uh, pursuing such uh, livelihoods, what are the different um, challenges or opportunities uh, or scope that is there in, in, in such a uh, domain. So, um, and uh, this book is primarily co-created by the fellows of uh, the, the first uh, cohort of, uh, of the fellowship. So I would I would like to uh, introduce uh, the fellows first, like share a bit uh, about the areas that each fellow explored, and we also have like some of them who have joined us here today, and uh, from there we'll we'll uh, listen to the fellows directly. So. Uh, so we had like seven fellows completing uh, the fellowship uh, program. And Amal, Amal Dev is from Alapura, Kerala. And Amal explored the domain of alternative learning systems and place-based education. Anil Upalapati, who's from Ongol, Andhra Pradesh, uh, explored the area of food systems and natural ways of growing. And Gayatri Pardeshi, who's from Nashik, Maharashtra, explored the area of inclusive learning and facilitation practices for children. Uh, and Ridhima, who's from Jaipur, Rajasthan, pursued uh, grassroots social work and community intervention for change. Saumya, who's from Ernakulam, Kerala, pursued food systems and the politics of food. Snehurshi Dasgupta, uh, who's from West Bengal, uh, Kolkata, pursued the area of independent media and education. And Sri Lakshmi, who's from Vasco, Goa, explored the domain of conservation and coexistence. Um, and I will invite the fellows uh, to share first, like, you know, uh, their experiences, uh, a, a glimpse of their experiences of the fellowship and uh, the co-creation of this book. Um, so I think I'll, I'll invite Amal to share first. Amal, there you can unmute yourself and speak. Yeah. Hi, yes, you can. Thank you. So I don't know actually what to say. Uh, the experience was like. Uh, Amal, can I start you the with... video uh, so that like everyone can see your face as you share? Yeah. So I'm so happy here. First of all, I want to say that I'm so happy to be here. 
so what was like my experiences there are a lot of uh, first time experiences happen in this fellowship that whenever when i'm ap applying for this thing i i actually don't know how it could be or how the things will be going and i have only interest that i, I just want to be explore these things and all. but when i start, when i started this fellowship that there are a lot of things happen it's not a like a fully kind of uh fully happening the fully fully kind of positive things not only like that there are so many up and downs and there are so many things happen so i think that i already uh, mentioned this thing before that i feel more more connected with myself after uh, completing this fellowship that was the best thing happened for me uh, because there are a lot of conditions i have to take the decision as myself and i have to go through so many situations that never i been before so uh, that was the thing happened in this fellowship and uh, also the people i met i think the most important element i uh, believe in this fellowship is the people like i uh, met so many different people in so many different different places even if it's in tu team fellows and there are parindes and parindes friends and other the people i uh, like the people i met uh, during my travel and all those things so they also changed my perspective for the things that i uh, seen before and uh, how was this fellowship was i like the experience like uh, what i experienced in this fellowship was i i already i should mention about the what i explored that is place based education and alternative learning system so uh, mainly i focus in the the place based education in the marginalized community for the marginalized community for the marginalized children so when i uh, started when i went to all the different places like i i really experienced the freedom freedom of children there so uh, that was the best thing i uh, uh, experienced in the, in this fellowship and the other thing also the learning instinct of the that people who are uh, leading that organization or the learning spaces so uh, that was the important thing for me like uh, currently i'm working in a uh, as a part of one, uh, part of the system i'm working in the uh, in the uh, with the part of the kerala government the tribal and tribal department so what experience was there was the uh, the people who are Uh, working the people who are working in the particular uh, learning space they are they have a learning instinct that they are uh, constantly changing or altering their uh, facilities or the things for the children they are constantly learning from the children and changing the things but what we are experience in the other places in the other part of system are that they are con continuously following the same things and so th that was the thing i am after i also started working you know, also i started the things like uh, as a i am looking the things through as a uh, learner perspective so that are the things i really Uh, experienced in the fellowship and as a after the, the writing process also helped me to uh, the reflect the so many things and uh, like uh, and i after the writing i experienced that uh, one thing i think one week ago it was very interesting for me like i met a guy uh, in vayanad and we were talking after that we realized that he went to uh, to uh, to parindes place after reading my uh article so that was very shocking for me as i met that guy and he went to already uh, nasa ben to the west bengal's place after reading the uh, article and after that he also went to other place like uh, adi shakti uh, after reading this thing so that make made me so happy and i understand that a lot of people are uh, reading the, the the articles written by our uh, fellows and also the people are going so that that's was very interesting for me yeah that's so thanks thanks amal for sharing that yes um yeah so as as we travel um like we we also act as uh, butterflies you no know, pollinating uh, stories from you know one place to another taking stories from one place to another um yeah that was that's great to hear that uh, people and and this we have seen before also but like I, we were happy that you directly experienced us that uh you know people who have read your stories and going uh, have gone gone to those places and uh having those experiences and learnings for themselves yes i think next up next i'll probably invite uh, sri lakshmi uh, sri lakshmi is from goa um and explored the domain of conservation and coexistence um we'll we'll hear from sri lakshmi like on how uh, that experience has been and uh, and also her journey with the book Thank you, Ashik. Hi, everyone. I'm Sri Lakshmi. Um, initially, my idea when I started the fellowship was to kind of understand 
um, what conservation is because I had little idea, but I had a lot of interest. So um, that's the initial thought with which I stepped out. But I think um, I was kind of ingrained to think that conservation meant pure science and only science. And I couldn't do it with the background that I had, which is uh, economics, political science and English. So uh, initially when I started out, I thought I'd have to you know, completely switch my uh, method of uh, you know learning and thinking. And uh, so I thought I'd have to uh, uh, just start learning scientific names of things and identifying them and that's what conservation meant but when I actually started out and I uh, met my parindes and saw the kind of work they were doing and hearing their stories about their backgrounds where they're from um, I think this made me realize that it's not so much about the kind of um, stream that you belong to or kind of expertise that you have but um, it's it's a combination of your own will and passion to do it and uh, whatever expertise that you have whatever skill sets that you have all of them matter and um, and you can bring a diverse set of skills and a diverse set of backgrounds uh, to deal with an issue because each issue, especially when it comes to conservation, it's a very, uh, I won't say especially, when it comes to conservation, it's something that's very interlinked and uh, that's what I figured out. So I spent time with tribal communities, I spent time with fishing communities um, and uh, some individual and community endeavors to uh, I mean, it was a multiple of things. I got to see tribal rights. I got to experience the fight for forest rights. I got to experience uh, uh, conservation work firsthand, um, uh, like bee conservation and uh, wetland conservation and forest conservation. I got to experience these things, uh, even heritage conservation, because I was uh, working at a museum in Goa. So uh, I got like a very diverse um, set of, uh, things to experience and I think uh, ultimately it all comes down to one thing and that is right now what it all comes down to um, is gratitude. I have a huge sense of gratitude um, for the Parindes, for TU, uh, for making, you know, for um, creating this space where youngsters can come and learn about stuff and um, I've always, I've always had my questions when it comes to formal education, formal systems of learning, formal systems of living as well. Um, uh, I always thought that there could be a more fulfilling way. And um, I think to you, what they did excellently was, was to just show us that, you know, there is a journey that you can take. And they gave us that opportunity that here you know this is a journey that you can take and this is a journey that you can explore for yourself and um, that's been a great thing and I'm very I'm very uh, grateful for my co-fellows as well because a lot of learning happened through them uh, and they made it possible to be more open to share a lot of stuff and uh, till today we all talk to each other and it's always it's always very nice to speak to them um, and my parindas of course it's uh, felt like a home um, I won't even say outside of home, it's just like little pockets of home everywhere I went, I made new little homes and I got to learn a lot. Um, and I got to also write about their stories, which in itself was a very, um, it was, it, it, it was very, I think it was a learning journey for me when it came to writing as well, because uh, there was so much that uh, I could see, but uh, not everything that I could write. So uh, kind of knowing what to do, what not to write, um, what to keep in your head and what not to get overwhelmed with. Uh, just, I think, balancing emotions, balancing thoughts. Um, all of this was a learning journey and I'm very grateful for it. And I'm also grateful for the support of the people that I had around me, my parents, my friends. Um, so I think uh, it, and then and, and I'm happy that I took the step and went ahead and did this, right? Um, 
So I'm, I'm just very happy that this happened. And uh, yeah, that's it. I think I'd like to repeat this in Hindi if like, if, if that's a thing that I should be doing, if there are people who would prefer that. If you can like, no, uh, quickly. Summarize, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, तो जब मैंने ये शुरू किया था तो इस सोच से किया था कि मुझे कंजर्वेशन के बारे में कुछ सीखना था और मुझे लगा मुझे साइंस के बारे में बहुत पता होना चाहिए मुझे बीएससी बॉटनी में डिग्री चाहिए और इसके अलावा मुझे मतलब मैं नहीं कर सकती ये चीज लेकिन जब मैंने अपना जर्नी शुरू किया मैंने अपने परिंदों से मिला मैंने उनकी काम देखी तो जब मैं देखी तब मुझे बहुत कुछ सीखने को मिला और सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट चीज ये था कि एक तुम्हें डिग्री की उतनी मतलब डिग्री से तुम्हारी एक्सपर्टीज बढ़ती है तुम्हारी स्किल बढ़ती है श्योर बट इट्स नॉट द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग सबसे जरूरी चीज नहीं इफ यू हैव द विल तुम्हारे अंदर वो है कि मुझे ये करना है और देन दैट्स इनफ ठीक है तो एंड उसके अलावा मेरे लिए जो लिखने का प्रोसेस था जो मेरे परिंदों ने जो काम किया उसके बारे में लिखना उसके बारे में रिपोर्ट करना वो एक अलग सा लर्निंग जर्नी था क्योंकि ये काफी बहुत सारे नए चीजें मुझे देखने को मिल रहा था और ये इंफॉर्मेशन लोड बहुत ज्यादा था मेरे अंदर तो जब मैं पहली बार लिखी तो बहुत लंबे लंबे आर्टिकल्स लिखी थी मैं और मुझे पता था कि ये कोई पढ़ने नहीं वाला है क्योंकि बहुत ज्यादा लंबा है तो कि मैं कैसे लिखू मैं कैसे बताऊं कि ये क्या करना है क्या और और मैं क्या सुनाना चाहती हूँ लोगों को क्योंकि वो मेरे तरफ से भी एक कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है यू नो उनसे इतना मुझे सीखने को मिला तो मुझे मेरे में वो एक चीज था कि ये मेरा एक रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है कि जब मैं ये आगे इंफॉर्मेशन दू तो मैं ये कैसे दू तो आ, आ, ये एक था और आ, जब मैंने जर्नी शुरुआत मतलब शुरू में जब आ, मैंने ये जर्नी किया था तब मुझे लगा था कि कुछ मुझे थोड़ा सा सिस्टम में हमारे सिस्टम में कुछ गड़बड़ लग रहा था एजुकेशन सिस्टम में लिविंग सिस्टम में आ, और मुझे लगा था कि हम कुछ अलग कर सकते हैं एंड इसलिए मैं आ, मतलब वर्ड फॉर ग्रेटफुल मैं बहुत बहुत आभारी 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 ओके आई डोंट नो टू यूज इट इसलिए मैं बहुत ग्रेटफुल हूँ कि टीयू ने ये प्लेटफॉर्म दिया और हम ये कर पाए और मेरे जो को फेलोज थे वो वो भी बहुत मुझे मैं बहुत लकी थी कि मुझे बहुत बहुत अच्छे लोग मिले इस जर्नी में टीयू का जो टीम था जिन्होंने ये अपॉर्चुनिटी क्रिएट किया हमारे लिए और बहुत सपोर्ट दिया जो मेरे को फेलोज थे वो आज तक मेरे दोस्त हैं मैं उनसे बात करती हूँ और हमें हमें एक साथ रहने में बहुत मजा आता है और जो टीयू के ओरिएंटेशन और जो फाइनल फेलोशिप था साथ में रहना बहुत अच्छा लगा हम लोगों को तो वो भी एक जर्नी था क्योंकि उसमें बहुत शेयरिंग और बहुत मतलब काफी कि ओपन हो गए थे हम एक दूसरे के साथ जो ऐसे इतने कम टाइम में नहीं होता जनरली और परिंदों के परिंदों के लिए भी मैं बहुत आभारी हूँ क्योंकि उन्होंने मुझे बहुत सिखाया और जो उन्होंने मुझे अपनी बेटी की तरह अपनी बहन की तरह मुझे अंदर लिया एंड मुझे सिखाया तो हाँ आई एम होपिंग कि मैं ये आगे ये ले सकू ये जर्नी जो है मैं उसको आगे बात वंडरफुल थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच फॉर शेयरिंग श्री लक्ष्मी एंड एंड यू आर ऑलरेडी डूइंग इट यू आर ऑलरेडी इन दैट जर्नी कंटिन्यूइंग दैट जर्नी अहेड अम यस एंड अब नेक्स्ट आई आई नेक्स्ट आई विल इनवाइट अनिल अनिल हु एक्सप्लोर्ड द एरिया ऑफ फूड सिस्टम्स एंड नेचुरल एंड ऑर्गेनिक वेज ऑफ ग्रोइंग अम या अनिल यू कैन अनम्यूट योरसेल्फ एंड शेयर यस यस Good evening, everyone. Ashik, can you hear me? Yes, 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 Anil. Yes, yes. yes uh, myself, Anil. Uh, so a lot of things I have 
uh, wrote in the book, uh, but I'll share a few things uh, which are uh, important for me and the, for people who are joined here. See, um, uh, the fellowship, uh, uh, it, was, it was in a suffocating situation when I chose this fellowship. Uh, I was uh, exploring uh, every way so that I can learn forming and do uh, build a form for myself and uh, create a way of living for myself. Uh, in that uh, mode, I was uh, looking for everything. Then I, uh, one of my friend actually sent this. There is an opportunity which you are looking for. Then I went applied, and fortunately, uh, I went through the fellowship and. Fellowship, uh, see, uh, the, the fellowship which uh, fellowship gave me more questions than answers for me. I was in a hurry to start my own uh, farm and uh, do stuff. But when I started traveling and when I started meeting Parindes, I came to know uh, what I knew is nothing. Uh, I need uh, more time to spend. I need. I I I had few uh, so many questions that came up which I need to get answers. Uh, instead of getting answers, understanding things are what actually I need. Uh, I need to strengthen myself so that I can start whatever I am thinking for the long run. Uh, so it was it was uh, absolutely a very good uh, uh, thing to do uh, because uh, 100 days continuously traveling, meeting uh, strangers, complete strangers and staying with them working with them, learning from them. Uh, I was uh, I was a person who uh, doesn't seek help. Uh, even the situation is getting worse, I don't, uh, I hesitate to ask for help, but fellowship gave me that courage to seek help. Uh, and uh, moreover, it also taught me offering help uh, is also a good thing, is a, uh, is a uh, very good quality one can have. And like that, and after the fellowship, uh, right now I'm I'm on the path, right path, I would say. So I was looking for a uh, uh, channel, I would say, so where I can put my energy and learn things so that I can continue doing what I wish to do. And uh, right now I am on that way. So fellow, uh, I think I, I, I might easily got a job in some NGO. Um, because of having some experience in a um, social sector and all. But I don't think without Travelers University, I, I, uh, I, I will be working in agriculture, which I would like to learn and continue for my life, rest of my life. And uh, that actually TU, TU gave that courage and energy, I would say. Uh, there are a lot of emotions that uh, comes across me because uh, I can... I can uh, think of the first day where when the mail came, like I, I was selected for, as a fellow. And then uh, people uh, I met, the amazing people I met over there, and we traveled together. Even though we were traveling alone, we were all connected in some other ways. Uh, every, every week we used to speak whenever I... See, that, that support was there. That support was there, which is lacking in the system right now. Uh, Especially, uh, which is not uh, 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 which is not considered as a mainstream, people, the society as a whole. I would say uh, uh, the society I grew up, I grew up, and the society around me are not uh, not uh, that supportive to take uh, a step like uh, not choosing job and going for a fellowship. Uh, and uh, all, all those all those things I, I can uh, remember uh, when I whenever uh, I, I'll connect to anyone from the TU and uh, uh, so most importantly a family a family a chosen family I have right now and it is growing day by day. Uh, that's how. So the, I don't know the, there are a lot of emotions that comes because it, it takes it takes a lot of things. Uh, uh, the fellowship was not uh, only done by me. There were people who were helping me in each and every step. And that's how they taught me a lot of things. And uh, 
uh, I think I can, I can openly express uh, every emotion of mine now uh, than before. Uh, so, so many things, many things. Uh, actually, it, it actually touched each and every part of a being human. Uh, how how you can be a good human being instead of a successful person, a so-called successful person. So that's all, that's all, that's all from my side for now. Uh, when you go through the book, you can uh, uh, read more about what I wrote and I'm always available to have a conversation with any of you. That's all. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Wonderful. Yes. Um, yeah, and uh, up next, I would like to hear from Saumya. Saumya has also explored the area of food systems, but like food systems and the politics of food. Um, yeah, so Saumya, if you could unmute yourself and share. Oh, I can't find Saumya. Uh, I think she dropped off. She dropped off. I'll check yes, with it. Yes. Uh, okay, uh, then then we have Gayatri here. Gayatri, Gayatri enjoys being with children and youth and you know, facilitating uh, programs for children and youth. And Gayatri explored the area of arts-based facilitation. Uh, yeah, so inviting Gayatri to share her fellowship experience and journey with the book. Uh, hello everyone, so good to see you. Just uh, Anil ne abhi bola ki uh, chosen family hai to मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा वो सुन के और मुझे लगा कि कहीं ना कहीं मेरी भी चूजन फैमिली है ये क्योंकि इतने कम समय में जैसे श्री लक्ष्मी ने भी बोला कि इतने कम समय में हम लोग सब एक दूसरे से क्लोज आ गए तो वो उसके लिए मैं बहुत ग्रेटफुल हूँ और मुझे लगता है कि मैं वो ही कहीं ना कहीं जर्नी में ढूंढ रही थी तो फेलोशिप से पहले मैं काफी ट्रेवल कर रही थी पर ऐसे कोई एक प्लेटफॉर्म नहीं था सही से एक आ, समझ नहीं थी कि किस चीज में एक्सप्लोर करना है पर आ, ये पूरे जर्नी ने सब लोगों के साथ से मुझे लगता है कि एक वो मुझे एक चीज और एक दिशा जो चाहिए थी वो बहुत अच्छे से मिल पाई और मैं बहुत ग्रेटफुल हुई एक्सपीरियंस के लिए और बुक में भी आप वो सब देख सकते हो और सबसे बेसिकली मेरा लर्निंग पैटर्न हमेशा से प्रैक्टिकल लर्निंग रहा है तो सारे परिंदों से मिलके उनके साथ रह के उनका लाइफस्टाइल जैसे वो जी रहे हैं वैसे उनके साथ मतलब एक्चुअली सीख रहे हो तुम रह के तो वो काफी मेरे लिए फ्रूटफुल फ्रूटफुल एक्सपीरियंस रहा है और मैं बहुत ग्रेटफुल हूँ इस चीज के लिए और ये और किसी को भी आर्ट फैसिलिटेशन और ये सब में media. Um, yeah, and and Snehershi's uh, interest has always been like in the direction of research and uh, writing and documentation and so on. So, um, yeah, waiting to hear from Snehershi on his fellowship experience. Hi, uh, thank you, Ashik. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, thank you, Ashik. Uh, am I audible? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. um so I, it was a wonderful experience for me uh, to travel across the country and meet uh, all these uh, diverse individuals learn about their initiatives and uh, so on and uh, what uh, struck me was these are all change, change makers who are um, working independently without any um, big organizational structure or big uh, uh support as such so uh, that was very inspiring to learn how uh, independent uh, uh, organizations uh, sustain themselves and um, as per the fellowship uh, experience uh, i think uh, this was the first time i traveled uh, for this long uh, in a stretch and uh, uh, my travel involved um, 
uh, many parts from uh, south to north to uh, northeast to east even in the west so uh, this was a, a lovely experience and uh, i got to learn a lot um, meet different people uh, other than work as well and uh, yeah i'm very grateful and uh, the book uh, i think provides uh, a detailed map of my journey uh, both uh, in terms of my work and also how i felt and what uh, <clears throat> made me travel to each of these uh, places be it uh, a village in west bengal or a village in goa so yeah the book is a great uh, great uh, uh, medium to track my journey uh, and uh, all the other uh, fellows who documented so yeah thank you thank you ashik sure yeah. mm. yes uh, and and uh, next we'll uh, hear from the dima So Ritham was from Jaipur and explored uh, or pursued the area of community work, grassroots social work, and community work. Uh, inviting Ritham to share. Uh, hello everybody, Namaste. Uh, me, my voice is coming, na? My voice is coming, but uh, can you switch on your video? Video, yes, I can. I the light is poor in this room, but okay. Uh, me, I have no more to say for saying. I always feel. i am at a lack of words uh, but i feel so happy that there are so many people here and they want to see and participate in this book launch it is a big celebration i think of the little steps we all are just trying to take and um, it is a big celebration for tu team more than for fellows like um, it long time when i think of it it just sends me back to a nostalgia क्योंकि इतने टाइम बाद वापस जब ये बात आई तो थोड़ा नोस्टैल्जिक फील हो रहा है जहां मैं गई और फिर मैंने अभी सोच रही थी अभी मीटिंग से पहले तो चंपावत में व्हेन आई यूज टू वॉक बैक इन द इवनिंग फ्रॉम द फॉरेस्ट वो इंप्रेशन बहुत स्ट्रांगली मेरे माइंड में आ रहा था एंड आई थिंक दैट इज दिस इज वॉट आई हैव टेकन फ्रॉम द फेलोशिप द ट्रेवल it was a privilege to be a part of that and i miss traveling like that i don't think wapas se koi bhi kaam ya koi bhi jagah allow karti hai us tarike se travel karna jis tarike se uh, hum us dauran kar paaye uh, and mujhe values ki importance ab zyada pata chali ki values thoda bahut values kya hote hain ya hum kaise unko seekh sakte hain to ye tha तो मैं सभी को कंग्रेचुलेट करना चाहूंगी एंड आई एम ग्लैड कि ये आ रहा है बुक और हम सब देख सकते हैं इसको एंड इट विल बी पार्ट ऑफ द टाइम एंड फॉर पीपल टू रीड आगे भी एंड यस आई एम हैप्पी एंड थैंक यू ऑल फॉर कमिंग फॉर दिस सेलिब्रेशन वंडरफुल या सो दिस दिस फेलोशिप जर्नी एंड uh this book wouldn't have been possible without the contributions and support and collective responsibility that like many others of uh, many of our friends uh and elders and mentors undertook um so we 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 would like to thank uh the community support that we received through vikalp sangam uh a network that nurtures alternatives a, a platform that nurtures alternatives uh another community which is key day uh which is uh which is a micro solidarity for a uh, forum for youth involved in social ecological pursuits um and yeah and 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 especially digital empowerment foundation who also partially supported uh, funded uh the fellowship and and who has been engaging with us even before travelers university um and the uh, the design phase uh, of the book the designing was also uh, taken up by uh, def and it was satish ji uh, who's a designer with def that who has designed the book for us um and uh, we have osama sir osama manzer of who's a founder of digital empowerment foundation also with us um, i'm inviting osama sir to share a few words Osama sir
okay uh, maybe he's not at home uh, i can see him here uh, i think we'll circle back to him later uh, so maybe at, at this point i would like to you know share uh, the uh, the book with you uh, so the digital copy the digital version of the book is currently like available for download from the travelers university website uh, so it is travelersuniversity.org slash 52pf 2021 22 uh, you'll also find it on the home screen uh, so that is a cover of the book uh, which was designed by a friend of ours rachana so rachana was in fact uh, an applicant uh, in the first cohort and um, due to different reasons like she uh, remo uh, withdrew herself from the application process uh, but then she wanted to continue engage engage uh, with us and and we saw that like rasana was an amazing artist and so rasana initially designed uh, postcards for us uh, themed around the fellowship um, and later as we uh, were like inching towards the uh, publishing of the book we again invited Dasana to design the cover for us. So that is the cover of the book. And uh, from the website, you will be able to download the e-copy. Um, and, uh, and we would like the physical copy to reach youth, youth organizations, initiatives, collectives, and institutions working with youth. Um, so we are we are happy to you no know, offer a physical copy uh, to them. Uh, so uh, anyone who's interested can reach out to us via email and then or, or call and then uh, we can figure out uh, how how we can get the book to you. And uh, and so many other people have also like immensely contributed uh, to the creation of the book, and that includes. Uh, the set of like the editors and translators who, uh, who we who we whom we had. Uh, so one of the fellows like Amel was originally writing in Malayalam, and we have had a few translators translating uh, these stories to English as well. Uh, so on the website you'll you'll find both the original version in Malayalam written by Amel and the translated versions. Uh, but in the book uh, it is uh, the English translation that is available in the book. And we have also had a lot of editors helping us with the editing uh interacting engaging with the fellows and so on uh so we have like also some of them who have joined uh there is nivedita there is madhubala so inviting them to share uh nivedita if you can share your experience if you'd like to share your experience with the book Or I'm not Madhubala. Are you are you there? Or... And there's also Arnaz who who also helped with the editing of the, some of the stories in the book. So Arnaz, Madhubala, Nivedita, if you feel ready or uh, if you would like to share, inviting you to share your experience with the book. Hello. I'm audible, right? Yes. Hanji. Um, I think I'll begin with congratulating everybody, um, the creators, the contributors, the fellows, supporters, everybody who made this happen because it's such a beautiful book, like a labor of love. It's like from this um, outcome. I think my, uh, I learned quite a lot in uh, just the process of editing. One is reading. So one is the stories the fellows did and they were like really amazing. And I also saw the documents um, you know, that outlined the process of, you know, writing the story, what is required, what is not required. And I 
think what is what stayed with me is the um like the dedication and also the minute uh, the eye for detail like the example like one example that just stays with me is um कहीं पर तो लिखा था आई थिंक पैंडेमिक और समथिंग एंड आशिक मेंशन के पैंडेमिक में कौन सा ईयर था वो लिखो कोविड 19 ऐसा लिखो सो दैट द आर्काइवल वैल्यू दैट द बुक आल्सो सर्व रिमेंस इंटैक्ट बिकॉज़ व्हेनेवर पीपल रीड इट फ्रॉम से 10 इयर्स 30 इयर्स फ्रॉम नाउ दे वुडंट नो व्हाट ईयर द बुक इज इन और व्हाटएवर आई थिंक मेनी स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग्स इज समथिंग दैट आई लर्न ड्यूरिंग द एडिटिंग प्रोसेस आल्सो एंड Yeah, it was fun, and I'm hoping to see many more stories, fellows, and journeys. Wonderful! Thank you, thank you so much, uh, Arnaz. Yes, and and also, uh, this this journey in itself would wouldn't have been possible without the. support of uh, the different the parindes uh, who wholeheartedly uh, hosted our fellows um and yeah we also have like some of the parindes who are here and uh, inviting them to speak there is uh, mahendra uh, there is boro baske the uh, yeah so uh, like the zoom settings is such that uh you can unmute yourself uh, so you might have to uh like raise your hand so that we'll see and we can unmute uh your you uh, those who uh, those of you who would like to speak uh from the parindes or from the editors whoever yeah and and yes osama sir osama bhai is here who's uh with df who's the founder of df and who has wholeheartedly supported the entire project the the book part the fellowship part like travelers university and so on so inviting osama bhai to speak hi good afternoon good evening how are you all great great like in a celebratory mood are yaar tumse thodi poocha okay that's the that's the uh, you know problem on uh, talking with people on a screen uh, so out of uh, how many people 35 people there are only four mug shots one two three no three mug shots actually yeah two three logos and uh, rest all is uh, caricature given by the screen Hi Adil, how are you? आप जमीन पे हो या आसमान पे भूमि पे हो? Zoom picture पे हो? Zoom निकाल से आपके YouTube साइलेंट हो गया। Okay, wonderful to have you all. Uh, since uh, you know Ashik has invited me to speak. Uh, Uh, i don't have much to uh, say or uh, you know mention but uh, let me uh, tell that i have always been fascinated by the whole concept of bavan parinde and traveler university since the day one when rahul had met me alone uh, few years back and then after that so i always feel privileged to be part of the design and the part of the uh, Uh, mission and the part of the uh, you know uh, passion that uh, all of you bring in in traveler university uh, from traveling to making it a university is a great deal and i really hope that uh, world's every child actually learn through the traveler university concept if not to you uh, by traveling around by going around by watching feeling touching smelling experiencing uh, and so on and so forth uh, hearing the uh, noise of silence and silencing the noise of uh, you know voices um, and so on and so forth 
uh, what I always felt that uh, the kind of job that all of you are doing together, those who are traveling as fellows, those who are documenting, those who are broadcasting, those who are fel- uh, those who are parindes, what you call as. ये बड़ी अजीब सी बात है कि उड़के तो आप जाते हो परिंदों से मिलने लेकिन बोलते हो परिंदों को परिंदे यू नो द डेस्टिनेशन इन दिस केस इज परिंदे एंड द ट्रैवलर्स आर कॉल्ड ट्रैवलर्स और फेलोज इसके बारे में कुछ सोचना चाहिए हमें वी वी नीड टू थिंक अबाउट इट दैट द पीपल हु आर इन वन प्लेस वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू मीट हाउ कम दे आर कॉल्ड परिंदे बट दैट्स फाइन एंड द होल कांसेप्ट ऑफ 52 दैट्स 52 वीक्स इन अ ईयर um that every week uh, one meets somebody because that was the original idea that if i am a traveler every week i meet someone uh, in a whole year if i travel uh, it will be great uh, you know experience and uh, also i i feel fascinated because my children also didn't go to a formal uh, education system they also have traveled enormously and documented enormously uh what i always feel is that uh, you know uh, uh, rahul and ashik and uh, ashwini ke itni der se publication kyu aayi that's not really done you know it should have been done a year back uh, or two years back and i was getting confused that why are we getting together here and i just realized that it's a release of the book and that to uh, phase 1 mere liye to ye phase 2 hai actually Uh, because pehle wale i think uh, rahul you should share the link of the first uh, 52 parinde coffee table book so that everybody also reads that one as a pdf file and see uh, how rahul became sick after traveling one year mujhe to lag raha hai marte marte bacha tha wo itna travel kar liya itne itne ghat ghat ka pani piya ke you know he became sick for almost a year uh and <laughs> so uh, that was a good learning uh, uh and and uh, i am a great fan of documentation i am great fan of storytelling i am great fan of dissemination i am great fan of letting people know what we have done and learn from the people and also disseminate our experiences so i was also thinking and all of you can help in this all the 38 33 people who are here is that how do we actually uh, disseminate this book in such a way that it reaches many many places you know many many people's hand uh, either on whatsapp or uh, you know social media or individual stories and so on and so forth and uh, you may also take responsibility to share the story of not yours but somebody else's you know and somebody else actually uh, share your story uh, and that will be a great gesture you know to 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 uh, to propagate the story uh, and each one of you have 52 story that way to tell right uh, so you can tell all, all of you can tell 52 stories to the network of people that you know then then and also in the era of uh, Uh, you know suffering from misinformation fake news and uh, internet shutdown and hate speech and so on and so forth it may be a good idea to share such positive stories of learning uh, which does not only create a livelihood but also create a, a soul soothing ecosystem um, for each one of you uh, i will stop there i would wish all the best i would also wish that all of you actually continue to travel uh, even if you don't travel from one place to other place your mind travels your knowledge travels your wisdom travels um, and and uh, and and all of you become ibn batuta of your areas or you if your country or your village or or, or your uh, jora and so on and so forth thank you very much thank you thank you so much osama bhai Uh, I'll I'll invite Rahul to share maybe next. Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, thank you. Ah, uh, just a fact correction. Ah, uh, I fall sick after one and a half years <laughs> of traveling. More than one and a half years. Ah, uh, after the fifty two parinde, actually I was traveling again for some other projects and working on my own book, which ah uh, link share. So, ah, uh, uh, I don't know what to share. like a kind of feeling of gratitude uh, gratitude towards the first the towards the fellows and all the people who have contributed uh, to the fellowship to travelers university 
and or contributed to me or yeah, that crazy idea isko main kahunga jiske bare mein log sunte hain to kehte hain ki kya pagalpan hai but ye kya karna cha rahe ho kya pagalpan hai but uh, i am really grateful for the people around me like osama and abdul and so many other people uh, who trusted me believe in me and the idea and then believe in tu believe in and uh, the team itself like ashik shruti uh, preksha ashwini all pe- these people uh, like who uh, like who they, they have put their soul in there in, in the whole idea it's not that ki wo kaam kar rahe hain they put their soul in in the whole idea and all uh and the believe the immense believe they carry with them i think uh that's the most important thing the, uh, it's more than the passion passion is one thing but the believing in that idea itself it, this is something uh worth doing and worth contributing or worth investing their time and life into it is something that believe is uh, that makes that uh, the journey have like hum jo aaj we are here because of that belief so yeah i think uh, i'm a bit overwhelmed uh, less of you. but yeah that yeah thank you yes raul um so madhu bala who has been like who was one of the uh, editors who offered editing support uh, for some of the stories in the book uh, has texted has sent sent send out a text uh, she is currently traveling due to which she is not able to speak uh, herself so she has message uh, i am in train so my network is unstable which is why i couldn't do anything about it my hearty congratulations to all the fellows this is a wonderful journey that has been chosen by the fellows and thank you for making me part of this wonderful book and that has captured the life of people who are continuously engaging with community in different ways uh kindly convey my regards to all the fellows thank you again thank you thank you so much madhubala yes um and ashwini who, who if you would like to share uh yeah i think what comes to my mind it, it's like a full circle uh i still remember the day we were in sareen in pune uh we draw the first design of the board in march 2019 to starting it in around august after two years of brainstorming the iterations that we did and then meeting the fellows for the first time at dds in september 21 and yeah i think first of all like uh, i think more than the fellows choosing the uh, we choosing the fellows it has been a case of the fellows Uh, putting their trust in the fellowship putting their trust in the process uh, putting their trust in us as an organization as individuals uh, to go on this journey uh, uh, we have talked about the uh, fellows have talked about the you know good aspect of the fellowship but it hasn't been an easy journey for each one of them uh, they have gone through a lot of uh, moments of self doubt moments of pain moments of discomfort uh to actually uh, complete the journey and uh, it has been possible because because of their perseverance because of the uh, i would say uh because of their intent to 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 to, to embark on this journey and, and similarly it has been for each one of us at tu also as an organization also uh, it has been a constant uh, constant path of struggles uh, but the struggles which we have chosen for ourselves uh so so in that ways it's very meaningful it's very fruitful it's very um it's like like it's 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 how it's how we we wanted to live life it's how we we wanted uh the life to be for us uh so yeah and to uh it there are a lot of lot of people i think it will be very difficult to name each one of them uh because uh not just during the fellowship but before the fellowship in itself we have been hosted by so many people we have stayed at with so many people places each one of them has added to this journey each one of the people who have fed us during this uh, journey they have added to the fellowship i feel and and 
directly indirectly uh, uh, there had it's a huge 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 number of people and i feel one of the founding principles that uh, we at tu have been working upon is collaboration uh, whether it has been people uh, the workshop hosting spaces uh, whether it has been the parindes whether it has been people uh, random people who have hosted the fellows who have hosted us also uh, so yeah it's a, it's, a, it's a whole circle uh, i think there are so there are too, so many emotions uh, it's it's uh, uh, feeling the physical copy in hand it it felt very really surreal uh, i i have the copy right now here uh, so i have been showing it to people and and uh, it it i don't know but uh, how, like like there's no one way to describe the feeling but but uh, it 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 does feel something uh, uh, i don't know the word for it neither in english or hindi the two languages that i know uh, but but uh, we hope uh, once it reaches each one of your hands uh, uh, you you feel something about it please do write back to us uh, please uh, convey whatever you felt while reading the book uh, that that is and that will be i think that is that is important for us as an organization uh it's not just about putting the content out but it's also about uh, how is how is it how one is engaging with it uh and and how what can be improved in it what can be uh bring more 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 things into it so so i'm i'm really excited to hear about the book from the uh, from from all of you uh who will be receiving is either as physical copies either as e copies uh and engaging more um, engaging more through it so yeah thank you thank you ashik thank you everyone yes uh like another person i would have loved or uh, loved to uh, you know see here today was sujatha sujatha padmanabhan who has co-edited uh the book uh with me and uh, she has like really like stood strong uh with us and uh going through each of the stories uh after uh, and like multiple rounds of like editing and like making it even more uh better asking asking the right questions and so on uh so sujatha padmanabhan she is with kalpa vrikshan management del action group and uh vikalp sankar uh, so she is currently engaged in a workshop for children um she is because she is also a children's book writer uh and currently she is engaged with a workshop for children which is why she is not able to uh, you know make it here today uh but she sends like all the wishes to you know all the all the parindes all the fellows and and the team so yeah uh so we see that like the book is a great uh, resource book for uh, youth uh especially youth who are interested in this pursuit towards uh a more inclusive and just world uh where we want to see um in a like uh like a, a more sustainable equitable and just world um so something that has come up uh for us as an extension of the fellowship and as as an extension of the book is the alivelyhoods platform uh because we have like our own like limited uh capacity to you know, engage with a certain number of fellows but uh there are like many more other people who are looking for uh similar pathways similar opportunities and so on um yeah and uh, so i would i would like before we close i would like to share about this platform that we are building currently it is called it is alivelihood.org uh so with the alivelihoods platform we uh intend to offer uh one like more stories uh of you know different alivelihood practitioners from across the country uh, who are in who are working in like all different sectors and domains uh we intend to offer like structured information on uh different alivelihoods so when we say structured information it would primarily include uh information that would help uh, a learner or help a seeker uh, to make certain informed choices or uh it, it it which would help people to uh begin their journey in the pursuit of alivelihoods of their choice uh so that will include uh the kind of the planet centric approach that is involved in such a livelihood that would include uh the kind of knowledge skills and mindset that uh one one might want to build if they are if they wish to engage in such a pathway if they 
is to pursue such a pathway. Um, the different challenges that one one may come across in such a pathway, and at the same time, opportunities that are there. Um, and like another important uh, part of the platform is to uh, is to offer resources to collate resources that are like already available in the commons, uh, whether it be uh, films, documentaries, books, booklets, and so on. So that is a platform which we are building currently, uh, and uh, we we hope that uh, it it will be uh, useful for you no know, more and more youth. And hopefully by next year, we, we also intend to put out the design of the fellowship also out there so that uh, the design of the fellowship program in itself is, is in the comments and uh, people can check this out and like uh, embark on these journeys by themselves. Uh, yes, uh, Mandar, Mandar has raised his hand. Mandar was one of our Parindes uh, who, uh, uh, like who was a parinde to Saumya, so inviting Mandar to speak. Yeah. Yeah. How Mandar? One minute. One minute. One minute. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah. So I do do creating. Start. I'm starting video. One minute for that. Uh, okay, I'll stop the video. Uh, okay, hello everyone. Uh, Sabhi ko namaste. Uh, meri aawaz Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 Sabhi ko namaste. Uh, mujhe bahut hi achha lag raha hai ki aaj ye book publish hua hai aur मैं इस बुक से बाकी के जो 51 परिंदे हैं उनसे जुड़ूंगा मैं एक परिंदा था सौम्या मेरे यहाँ आई थी और उसने मुझे डॉक्यूमेंट किया था मैं जिस प्रकार से ये लाइफस्टाइल जी रहा हूँ एग्रीबेस लाइफस्टाइल तो पिछले 15 साल से इसमें हूँ और कभी उसके पहले माने 10-12 साल पहले मैं या 15 साल पहले म और कहीं कहीं ढूंढ रहा था अच्छी जीवन शैली कहाँ हो सकती है वो ढूंढ रहा था और उससे अलग अलग जगहों पे महाराष्ट्र में घूमा गुजरात में घूमा जहाँ जहाँ मुझे पता चला और उन्होंने मुझे होस्ट किया और ये मेरा प्रिविलेज है और मुझे बहुत आनंद होता है कि एक ट्रैवलर 15 साल पहले था आज किसी ट्रैवलर को होस्ट कर रहा है और होस्ट किया था और आगे भी मैं जरूर करूँगा जो अपने जीवन को ढूंढना चाहते हैं ऐसे ट्रैवलर को होस्ट करना मुझे पसंद है मैं यूथ में भी काम करता हूं हमारे यहां महाराष्ट्र में एक निर्माण बोल के एक प्लेटफॉर्म है जहां का टैगलाइन है यूथ फॉर पर्पसफुल लाइफ तो उसका मैं पार्ट हूं तो अलवेज बी इंटरेस्टेड इन कनेक्टिंग विद सच यूथ्स सो मुझे बहुत ही अच्छा लग रहा है और ये नॉलेज ऐसा शेयर होता है तो महाराष्ट्र पर में जहां जहां भी ऐसे परिंदे हैं जो अपनी जगह पे अपना काम कर रहे हैं और सस्टेनेबल लाइफस्टाइल के लिए कुछ कदम आगे बढ़ा रहे हैं अगर वो एक दूसरे से कनेक्ट हो जाए तो वो बहुत ही बड़ी बात है तो हम अकेले हैं ऐसा उसे नहीं लगेगा और कनेक्शन से अलग अलग एस्पेक्ट्स पे मिलके हम काम कर सकते हैं इसमें नॉलेज भी शेयर होगा और जैसे भाई एग्रीकल्चर में काम करता हूं तो मैं जो भी कुछ ऑर्गेनिकली ग्रो करता हूं वो भी मैं कहीं पहुंचा सकता हूं तो उसके लिए भी कनेक्ट होगा लेकिन मोर कनेक्ट नॉलेज के लिए रहेगा ये मैं मानता हूं और उससे एक दूसरे मिलके अच्छी जीवन शैली कैसे जी सकते हैं आज के इस सो कॉल जीडीपी आधारित जो भी डेवलपमेंट है उसमें ह्यूमन एस्पेक्ट्स हम मिस कर रहे हैं और वो कनेक्ट करना और एक एनवायरनमेंट फ्रेंडली लाइफस्टाइल मिलके आगे बढ़ना और उसके बहुत सारे एस्पेक्ट है उसको कनेक्ट करना ये मेरे लिए प्रिविलेज है और मैं बहुत ही खुश हूँ कि मैं एक पार्ट था ट्रैवल्स यूनिवर्सिटी का तो सभी को इसलिए मैं धन्यवाद देता हूँ और आगे जाके भी इससे कैसे कनेक्ट रह सकते हैं और एक दूसरे के साथ नॉलेज शेयर करके आगे बढ़ सकते हैं ये मैं जरूर चाहूंगा और कोई 
ट्रैवलर फिर से यहाँ पे आके कुछ सीखना चाहता है तो वेलकम टू ऑल थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच मंदर जी फॉर यू नो ऑफरिंग योर लर्निंग एक्सपीरियंसेस योर स्पेस फॉर मेनी मोर पीपल हु विश टू परस्यू सिमिलर पार्ट्स एंड एंड वी वी सी दैट at the center of any prosperous human activity is this community uh, and and it is this community that that we are building uh, which which uh, supports each other shares uh, uh, resources learnings uh, and so on with each other thus uh, moving ahead collectively stronger together uh, i see so uh, swarnima is also here so swarnima was also one of the uh, parindes uh, uh for uh, like she was a parinde to ridhima who explored a pursue the area of community work so inviting swarnima to share uh yeah if she is she would like to share few words can you hear me now yes Yes. Oh, thank God. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you so much. We can watch video as well. So yeah. I can. Yeah. I I have a poor internet connection here. I, I if I put the video on, I'm really sorry. The voice may not reach you. Um, but I'll still try. Yeah. Yeah. Please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi. Um. Yes. So yeah. Thank you. Uh. Thank you, Ashik, for. Uh, um. taking up my name i think i was uh, thinking i'll say a couple of words it was wonderful when ridhima was here and i had been uh, following the 52 parinde fellowship uh, journey even before um, ridhima had called me uh, because uh, i've been uh, uh, like i i, I worked with uh, ashik of course yes i worked with ashik also <laughs> indirectly though Uh, but with vikalp sangam and uh, through that i'd been following 52 parindes uh, fellowship journey and uh, when uh, ridhima was here i think i managed to understand things better or um, uh, it's also an exposure for uh, spaces like ours when people come here and try to understand what the work is because um, we uh, tend to work for 7 to 10 years and even though we are reflecting on it um an external view becomes very important it's also critically um uh, uh it brings us alive i would say uh, so when ridhima was here and when uh, when she looked at us from a certain gaze and uh, told us what is good what is less bad uh i would say to them if you can tell us a little bad things a few bad things about us that would also be great but yes uh, a review um, you know a, a different perspective uh, it's always wonderful because being an alternative development space aapko kabhi pata nahi hota hai ki aap kya sahi kar rahe hain kitna galat hai uh, uh, kitna duniya se dur reh kar ke um what kind of impact are you creating and you sometimes it Uh, every day it becomes an everyday affair that okay we are doing this uh, and and then you question yourself is this enough but uh, but these visits uh, this kind of work uh, wonderfully not only gives a platform for people to look at this kind of work but also to organizations like us who um, in our journey of doing a certain kind of developmental work um need an assistance like this uh, a critical assistance like this uh, so in that sense i would really thank ridhima and uh, uh, the travel university and uh, i'm always always there uh, to help with anything uh, lalita from um, uh, our collective from chinhari was at the second cohort uh, at travel university and she had a wonderful experience and the kind of exposure that she has come back with is just phenomenal it's phenomenal for me it's phenomenal for the organization here and therefore i think i uh, there's a part of me that owes something to to you and uh, yes i'm i'm always there 
and with uh, available for any help for anything that I can do from my end because I think it's a wonderful, brilliant initiative. Uh, thank you for taking this initiative up and yeah, that would be my, from my side. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Supnima. Yeah. Yes. So once again, like I'm uh, sharing the book link uh, like in the chat, this will also reach you uh, all of you by email and uh, yeah with that uh, we we celebrate the book uh, but if someone would like to share something at this point like in who who is who has joined us today uh, inviting you to you know raise your hands and then we can unmute you and yeah if there are like any more words that are there Okay, Mandar has messaged, I also invite Travelers University team at my space here in Vartha, which is one of the greatest place. Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Thank you, thank you so much for inviting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we, we would love to be there, yes. Okay, there's one more uh, uh, team members of ours who's here, Shruti. Shruti, would you like to share uh, something on, on the book? Uh... Okay, I think, uh, no. Yes, yeah, so once again, thank you so much everyone for joining us here and like in celebrating uh, this book, celebrating the publishing of the 52 Pardini Fellowship book. Uh, we are like really eager to know your thoughts on the book as you, as you uh, read them uh, and inviting you to use it as a resource uh, in the spaces uh, that you're part of. So once again, thank you so much for joining. And with that, we'll conclude.